And welcome back to the channel today, and we are back for another Walking Dead A New Frontier slash Season 3 Theory video today on Episode 5 from the Gals and Tay. We are going to be discussing what I think is going to happen in Episode 5 from the Gals in terms of multiple endings. This is something I've really wanted to talk about, and this is something that's won the straw poll last time on our latest video, which I've got a thank you again, everyone. Thank you so much. We almost have over 200 likes on it, 5,000 views. And we got almost like 80 votes on the straw poll in that day. That's that's tremendous. I really my channel's been blowing up lately. We're already at 20,000 subscribers, so thank you guys for 22,000. And keep it up with your support. Is um, I'm gonna keep trying to pour these videos out. We get 250 likes on this video. I will get a video out on Tuesday and Thursday for sure. We'll try to get two videos out. No, most likely the next video is going to be a Lee discussion video on what I think there could possibly be with Lee. Maybe it's in terms of flashback. Or, you know, some I still get people commenting, oh, he can come back as a walker. We'll, we'll all discuss that in the next video. But I just want to pick that out there. Straw poll meaning down below the description. Also, make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter. You guys can tweet with me, interact with me in any way you can. But um, we'll have other discussions in the future. I just want to make sure we're all good with that. Now, before we start here, I just want to leave. What do you guys think? Are there going to be multiple endings? Leave that down below in the comments before I get straight into this. And I'll see what you guys have. All right, so what do I think is going to happen in episode five from the gals? So first, we have to look at the first two seasons. What we had, we had The Walking Dead season one. At the end, remember, we had the decision to shoot Lee or leave him to turn. Not the biggest decision in terms of branching, but it could have some minor impacts depending on the dialogue options. There was a season four that was something that wasn't too big. It didn't, but it was multiple endings. It was just there's going to be some kind of decision at the end. It might just end off like that. You never know. But then we had season two, where we had six possible variations of four different endings. As we had going alone, we had going with Kenny, leaving Wellington, we had going into Wellington, and we had Jane. And we also had alone endings with where we could leave Kenny and we could leave Jane. Now, that was six different endings. They kind of poorly, I thought they poorly did it. Uh, they sh I thought they could have involved them more into it instead of just giving us one cutscene. I mean, they gave us a cutscene in uh, episode 4, which I liked, which is a little more in-depth. I wish they would have been more integral part of the story than just in cutscenes. You know, they maybe they could have had an episode or two with them and then maybe killed them off, but it's really fine with me, you know. But that was the most varying endings, and at the time, I didn't think, how are they going to do it with this many endings? And then, you know, they kind of did it the way they did here in the New Frontier with flashbacks. But what is going to happen in episode 5 from the gals. I believe it's going to connect to the McCarroll Ranch, which everyone's been discussing since Dr. Lingard... Spoilers for episode 4 right here. Dr. Lingard um, told you the McCarroll Ranch was where AJ was being held. And I believe this ending is going to... Whatever ending we're going to get is going to be involved with Clem, Javier, or someone going... Hopefully they... Now I'm afraid they're going to do something like this where we're not going to play as Clem in the present. So what if they just, like have us play as Javier till the end and Clem goes off to the Carroll Ranch and you don't see what happens. That would make me pretty pissed because then it would leave us in that state of suspense like what is Clem going to do? Because I have a feeling they're going to do that since Clem has not been playable in the present. I feel like we're going to find the Carroll Ranch and Clem's just going to walk away and we're going to leave her or something stupid like that. I don't know how that's going to work out. But this Carroll Ranch I believe is going to have some kind of impact with the ending of this um with this uh, season so I believe we could have many 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 endings but I believe there's only gonna be a small like a season I don't think there's gonna be like six different variations of four different endings I think we're gonna have one or two endings in this this isn't gonna be too involved but I think it's gonna involve either leaving AJ with some family or maybe getting AJ to go with Clem because I don't know this is interesting because what if this family you don't know, or whoever family, community, what if they're holding each other? Are they good or bad? We don't know that 100% yet because the New Frontier, remember, they're not the nicest kinds of people. But, you know, I know Dr. Lingard, he was a nice guy. And I, David, he's he's in the fence with me if he's a nice guy or not. We're going to have to see how he reacts in this final episode. But this McCarroll Ranch, what are they going to have? It, it Honestly, it could be like another Wellington. I don't know how they're going to, Telltale's going to display this to us, but we're going to have to see. And then. Another possible variation of ending, what if, that's like an ending with Clementine, kind of like, where this ending kind of goes with Clementine a little bit. What if the ending is with killing another character or saving another character? Like, what if you, like, there's an option at the end, kill, it's like, 
kill someone or kill not. I don't know if they're gonna do something like that where they did at the end of like season two where it's kill Kenny, kill Jane. What if it's like save Gabe or save David or save Kate, save David or Javier, sacrifice yourself to save someone or let them die. Or what if it's like Javier, you know, just going in like risking his life, dying no matter what. You don't know. And there's also many theories about what if Javier becomes a leader of some community. I've heard about this before. People have told me this in the comments for a couple weeks now. People believe Javier has a good chance of becoming a leader of Richmond or something like that. I don't. I just don't see it. And the reason I don't see it is being Richmond is being overrun with walkers. You know, if anything, Javier could lead the McCarroll Ranch. I think if there's any leadership role. What if? Javier, they end up going to this McCarroll ranch and Javier ends up becoming the leader. I think something could happen where they do like a time skip, they show what happened at the end. Who knows? But this ending, whatever we're going to have in this, if it is the last season of The Walking Dead, we're going to have some kind of conclusive ending with Clementine. It will be completely involved with her either dying or something or just never seeing her again. That's if this is the final season. I don't believe this is the final season, so I believe we're going to be left on some kind of cliffhanger or some kind of ending where we can kind of generate an idea of what's going to happen or at least have predictions and have discussions about what we think is going to happen. But it, I think it's pretty simple. I believe there are going to be multiple endings. I just don't believe there's going to be as many as season two. There might be two to three. Who knows? I'm not... I'm not going to say it's not likely, but I don't think they're going to go the same route where they want to push themselves too thin with this many different endings. But characters, I think it's going to involve the major characters. And we obviously, we're never going to know what's going to happen until this episode releases. Whether it could be something with Javier becoming the leader of Richmond, where we go to the McCarroll Ranch, where we go to somewhere completely different. What if it's like, now what if I discuss if it's like four different endings like season two? What if one's like... Javier, you like stay in Richmond to lead the community, or you go with Clementine to the McCarroll Ranch, or you go with Clementine somewhere else. What if it's something like that? It could be completely involved with going with Clementine somewhere. That would be actually interesting if, they even, if you have a season four and you still continue this Javier, Clementine, AJ thing. I don't think they're going to do that. I think Javier is going to be either dead or he's going to go separate away from Clementine. I don't believe they're going to stay together because I... Based on what I've seen, everyone thinks, oh, Gabe, Clementine, relationship, uh, yeah, yeah. I think it's pretty on pat. Clem's number one concern is AJ. So I don't believe it's possible that, you know, Javier's going to want to, you know, go with Clem. Maybe they will. But, it, you know, I believe Kate and Dave are going to die in this episode, or at least a couple of the Garcias are going to die this episode. So Javier's going to experience some loss, and we're going to have to see how he can mentally recover from that and persevere. But, again, guys, I want you to leave your theories down below because this is there's many different possibilities on what's going to happen i mean hell returning characters i discussed that in the last video what if in mccarroll ranch we said again what if there was like arvo or mike or krista or lily but i believe what if jesus is involved in the ending but obviously jesus is in the comics so i don't know jesus comes back you just don't know these endings what will they be involved there's a central idea season one was more of just like an emotional with you and lee you know, either shooting him or, you know, leaving him to die. This was just emotion. Season two was like, what kind of Clementine did you want? Did you want a Clementine that was a sole survivor badass? Did you want one that cared about Kenny and the closeness of having a family from season one? You know, having that close knit community and having that, or being with Jane and being like a loner, a survivalist type. And then, you know, or just completely saying, F you guys, I'm going by myself. Like, you leave them alone, and you like even if you save one, you just leave them be. I mean, the possibilities here are endless. We, we just, we're going to have to see. I mean, possibilities could go unlimited here. But I believe, again, like I said, the McCarroll Ranch is going to be the main key of this episode. I No matter what, I think the McCarroll Ranch will be either where this episode ends or it's going to be a central aspect of this episode. Or what if this episode ends in Richmond? I always had this theory. If What if they this ending is absolutely terrible? What if everyone dies? I mean, not, I don't think everyone's going to die, but there's going to be at least one or two characters to survive. What if it's like Season 2... Except where I said the multiple endings, where everyone goes down with ship, like we lose Eleanor, we lose uh, Trip or Ava, we lose Gabe, we lose David, we lose Kate. Someone goes away. What if it's just us in the end with Clem, uh, uh, Javier, and just maybe some other character, and we're trapped in at Richmond? Now, I think in the first 30 or 40 minutes, we're probably going to end up leaving Richmond, because I don't think Richmond, with all the walkers coming in, Richmond's getting overrun, people are already running. 
it's already a war zone. Yeah, I mean, I, like I discussed when I was talking about season three, when I saw uh, in episode four, when I saw the trailer, I thought I told you this is a war was coming. You've still got uh, Joan or um, the other character, Clint, and then you've also got freaking the Walkers all coming in, and you've got all these bad New Frontier people that were just killing innocents at the end of the episode when Javier was trying to run away. So you've got at least. You've got to get out of there. I, I see only one option here to get out, and I believe this ending is going to be outside of Richmond, whatever it's going to be. I just don't know what it's going to be. It all depends on if there's a season four, if there's ever going to be a continuation. It all depends on this ending. This ending is going to be huge because it, it's basically telling us, are, is there going to be another Walking Dead season? I believe there will be. I'm always, again, when a couple weeks, maybe even a week or two after, I don't know. I want to give it a little time after episode five comes out, but I will probably eventually make a season four discussion video on what I think is going to happen. But that ending is going to be the key, or endings is going to be the key to what's going to happen. So that's basically what I think on multiple endings in The Walking Dead season three, episode five from the Gallows. Please leave your um, discussions down below in the comments. Um, again, you guys could leave a like and subscribe. I would appreciate you guys with the. Um, Grace and I um, hope to see you guys on Tuesday for the lead discussion video and then on Thursday for whatever one's a straw poll, man. Alright, folks, thank you again for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.